in regard to leadership and business books. I want to hear your futuristic portrayal of how the history books are going to look back on this time period as far as business and leadership is concerned. What will they write about? Well, I think it's going to be, uh, hopefully, I'm being optimistic about this, but I think it'll be positive. It's not what I think my personality should be in the C-suite. It should be who I am. But there are character qualities not only do I need to gain, but ones I need to let go of. I want you to go back to that and start with willingness. I have to have a willingness in my in my persona, but what things do I need to let go of, Mark? I think this is what makes me so inspired. I love that you also created a fence though for those unsafe emotions that you don't portray to employees. Like being real also has its limitation because you're still supposed to be the leader. So go, go more in depth with that. How does a leader balance that and where can they share those emotions? Yeah, I think the, the key is not feeling. Because a lot of times I'm like, oh, I'm a really positive person. I'm really confident. I'm really optimistic. I'm not saying anything bad to myself. Oh my goodness, the stuff that was in there. Whether or not it had been in there for decades, but you don't listen to it anymore sometimes. You don't hear it. It's like bringing it to the surface and then adding positivity on top of it so that your mantras support your gifts and talents on the other side.